There we go. Okay. Hey. Um, I'm back online. Um, now it's time for some games that you voted for that um, I'm a little bit nervous about playing. It's it's time for the scary games block after dark. And I'm going to be starting with uh, Faith Chapter 2. Which is kind of like an old school um, home computery kind of looking game. There we go, that looks good. I'm hoping the volume's okay. If it's not, let me know. I'm gonna start a new game. So yeah, it's this kind of old home computer style. Uh, and I think you play like a pastor who's conducting exorcism. I'm going to cough a lot because I'm so anxious right now. <laughs> uh, this is the kind of graphics that really scare me because I grew up with the Atari ST and it looked like this and I used to imagine all the horrible things that could, uh, that could jump out at me. Oh, one of my screens has just gone. Garcia, you're hereby instructed to release Michael Davis from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davis have already been contacted by our office. The representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. Okay. I can hold that up to um, kind of exercise things. There's also mirrors, which I don't like. I'm really not looking forward to this. Jesus, that's horrible. Oh god, is that him? Oh yes. I really hate playing horror games by myself, I tell you, I'm such a pussy. <laughs> Love playing them in a group, but when I'm alone. No. -uh. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, that is nasty. fell out of his mouth. Oh. I didn't have control over that. It's 2 a.m. Okay. Well, it's nearly 12 a.m. I... Get out! <laughs> Ooh! That, that made me jump then. Why are you still here? Of all the people to be here, 
during a horror game watching me. You're going to talk me the most. Is that a dead deer in the tree? How did that happen? You have now talent. Get out. The final boss is actually Debbie Stevens. The concurrent investigation being conducted at Gallup Cemetery by the State of Connecticut and Historical Society has been postponed. Avoid the cemetery grounds, the surrounding woods, the wildlife. I'm getting shivers. And the, any unidentified persons around the area. <coughs> Is the volume and the, and the visuals okay? I've tried to sort of like set it up so that I've got... Oh god, I don't like this. I might have to end up shutting that door behind me because I know what you guys are like for telling me there's things behind me on camera. I'm, I'm already so uncomfortable. I'm going to shut the door and I know it's, it's completely rational, but I'm going to have to do it. Hold on a sec. Um, uh... Oh no, Steve, stop it! Don't even. I tell you what, don't even say that in this flat in particular because there are stories about monks hiding in this flat. I actually hate all of you so much. I know there's nothing there, but it's weird. It, they got me with that during the whole spider spell thing last time. This is probably. Oh. This is probably the game that um, will be the scariest for me. <laughs> Stop! Save. Dearest disciple. Apparently, not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer shall inherit his kingdom. You must conjure his demon, you must then serve his demon, you must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. I swear, the clock next to me just ticked over to midnight and it made me jump. That's how twitchy I am. I'm going to turn it this way somehow. Attempt to save family tomb when Oh, okay, so I can save my game here, I guess. Into the spirit house. I really don't like this. The animations are really freaky, eh? Oh, maybe I drop off like the spirits that I've collected in my cross here, and it saves. You're, all right, now we've got the collected worst people in the chat for a horror game. Because I know what you're like and scaring me, all of you. You all know how jumpy I am. I've got like a, a high-pitched noise in this ear. I don't know if you've got it as well. Cindy Mary Martin, Robert Kimball Martin, devoted husband and wife, both with parents, their lives tragically came to an end. <coughs> Bob was a trained advisor for the Navy, Cindy was a CPA, more recently a stay at home mother. They were married in March. These just look like random documents that kind of tell the story, like. There's nothing there. I just saw my own camera, I think. Can you... Right, I'm actually going to block some of you guys in a minute.
<coughs> Anything else there? Hang on, that's moved. Just gonna keep holding up my uh, cross. Oh god! What the hell? Is there something? Jesus Christ! Oh! Ooh, ooh. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Get out! Get out! You have no talent! Get out! Oh. Hey, Rick, come here. More this! More this! It was like a ghostly sort of Kirby kind of thing. the start of uh, isn't that like the start of the Hounds of Love by Kate Bush I'm going to turn I am speaking quite quietly to be fair I'm going to turn the game down just to touch them hopefully that's better yeah that's what I was thinking I don't know if you intended to make that reference or it was supposed to be a reference to someone else Oh, I'd love to be listening to Kate Bush right now. Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant, not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Every time I leave the doctor's office, I'd see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big, warm smile. Somehow, it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctor's. A smile was big and ever, the big as ever, but somehow not warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday I was walking and was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off into a path into the woods. That's where I met. Oh, I didn't know it was from a film. Maybe the people disappear when I do the respective pathways. Do be quiet. Why can't I save? Why can't I save? Why can't I save? There are, there are stories of um, friends who shall remain on who had dressed as a monk in my flat and just stood in the corner and just waited for me to come home for a long time. And that would be quite scary right now. I mean, I'm guessing these are going to move. Once I've done whatever I need to do on the screen up above or below. <clears throat> Let's go above. Oh, is this like a maze? It looks like it's going to be a maze. Oh, hang on. Wait, these are pointing us the right direction, aren't they? Alright, Steve. Calm yourself. These are pointing the directions to go in, but I don't know what order. There's got to be like a one, two, three, four about it. Maybe it's just right to left? Ooh! What the fuck is that? Excuse the language. I'm gonna swear a lot to him. Get out! Oh my god. Oh, 
Oh. Bored. Bored. <laughs> this is a really good game. I, I'm really sorry, I, I try and sort of not say too much explicit language on the stream, but I'm probably going to swear a ton during this segment. Ah, <laughs> oh, I thought that would repel it. What? What? <laughs> Oh, I couldn't even see it because of the clouds. Wait, 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 wait. I haven't got my... I haven't told Twitch what I'm playing. Faith? No. Faith. Two. Michael Parkinson in here. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> I swear I'm gonna block all of y'all in a minute. I'm just gonna turn off my Twitch chat. So drunk, y'all. I didn't plan on too soon. Ooh, that was close. I hope you're having a good time over here. <clears throat> Losing Grandpa was the hardest thing I ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. Would you like to see your grandfather again? They asked. I missed him. I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom <coughs> drove me to one of her friend's houses. Took me down to the basement. Saw my grandfather in there. But it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say I have, they have work for me to do. Oh, all the statues are headless now. Wonderful. So I think it's right up. So east, north, west. North? I can't, I can't even tell where that last one's pointing now. East, north, west, north, yeah? I can actually see the only window from here, so... Oh god, what was that? Ooh! Fuck! Fuck, it's not reacting to my... Oh, it is. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> I've been free. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. 
No more pills and needles, no more getting laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. By day, my... <laughs> By day, my body was the way. But by night, my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge, guided by beings of pure darkness. Uh, I have been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon's seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star across the rocks. Arranged. Oh, hang on, this is probably a plot, plot point. Drawing the inverted star along the rocks, arranged in five, first at top left and down. Okay. I will load them into my woods. Uh, there was a, the, there was a, a, a circle of stones in the woods. Maybe I should try going there and making this sign. Inverted star, top left, and then down. This is a uh, faith chapter two, which is really spooky. And this is exactly the kind of game that scares me. I'm gonna save first. It looks like this, this is falling. Oh, they've all. I'm already in the mirror. Oh no. There's a key. And I've got. I kind of want to go and. Uh... I want to go and do this circle thing. So it was top left. And then it was God damn I hate this. Yeah, there's a stone circle here, so it's top left. And then it was down, making an inverted star, so it must be like here. Right? I don't actually think this is a good idea anymore, but I've committed to it, so... Uh -oh. Should I stand in that? Oh, it's horrid. Is this a star of protection? I hope it is. the first half hour followed by fragmented exorcism narrative subjects unable to remain consistency in the story for example stating that Amy was in the basement and then saying she was in the attic this is about me isn't it subject insists incident was the result of demonic possession are we actually not really a pastor are we are just somebody who's crazy cannot declare subject of sound mind Ooh, 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 ooh. I think there's like a God damn it. I think there's like a, a kind of narrative here that we are actually That happened during Spider Spell, do you remember? It, it genuinely did, like there's freaky noises on it when I listen to it back. But I don't appreciate you saying this now, my friend. That's the game audio. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna focus on the game. Well, I guess this is what the key unlocks. I don't know if I should go to the left or the right. I am. Oh, if you think I'm exploring those woods, you've got another thing coming. Oh, right, okay, so it was a trick. <coughs> mm. 
Wait, I should go south and save. Right? I think it saved. Now I have no reflection. didn't expect that it was like a tree monster like the evil dead oh no one of these is going to be the tree monster isn't it not having any of this She guards the door to underground purgatory. I hath not seen her. The children fear her. This is... Oh, God. Why do I have to... I don't really don't want to explore the wilderness. Because I think it might get me shanked. There's cornfields at the top. I think that's just going to be a loop. Should I go in the cornfields, guys? I had to come back. I had what? I had to come back. I had to walk through the corn one last time. I wasn't sure what I would find. The dogs, the children, the things that took them. It had been five years. I couldn't even find the little graves anymore. Until I found this stupid scarecrow. As I listened to the night wind blooming or blowing through the crops, it was like the scarecrow was mocking me. It's you! I swear to God, right? I'm gonna be so upset with you. Can you can you not? Can you not actually not? I just found some popcorn on my shirt. Sure. I actually, I hate you so much right now, said Khalees. Well, it was more like I felt it. I didn't turn around. We just stood there, me, the scarecrow, and the doomed child. Finally, I mustered up a bit of courage and turned to look. The scarecrow immediately fled, crashing through the rows of corn. Uh-oh. What little I saw of it drained the blood from my face and made my skin crawl. I say it because whatever I was looking at didn't have a face, just a bloody gaping hole. It's gonna run at me, I know it is. That makes a noise every time. Confess thy sins. This is horrible audio. Day one of our paranormal investigation into the old Snake Meadow Hill Church. Three cameras, a box of tapes, enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. On our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we'd heard before. Um, evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield and secret tunnels under the chapel but there was this spindly lady game apparently it has to do with summoning the spirit of a sorry what Nice try. <coughs> Spindly lady game that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently it has to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans in the 50s. There was an old rhyme they told us. Walk the church from room... 
<laughs> Walk the church from room to room. And maybe you'll see her, but she will move when you do. Never try to trick her. You think you're pretty clever, don't you? Oh god. Uh -oh. Do I have to go in the confession booth? Oh sh shit, are you serious? Pray for me, Father, for I have sinned. What seeks have you done to your face? I try to save a girl from evil. This is me. But my place. fear so overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry and broke my vows to God. A year later, the girl reached out to me again. But in the end, I couldn't save her. I left her to die. The miracle I am sorry for me and my past sins. Thou hast said will. Here is my penance. Read the child to me. Uh -oh. Perform the sad of the attrition. And thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give thanks to the Lord for his good. For his mercy and yours forever. Okay. Oh. Spooky. We still haven't found a way. I don't remember that actually. I'm glad you're having a good time. We still haven't found a way into the basement, but found something just as cool—a secret passage in the in the old confession booth leading to this hallway. Henry's going to town to buy a crowbar. See, we can't get rid of the boards. That's not even the best part. We caught an EVP. You can't hear it on tape very well, but to us it sounded like laughing. Thank God we brought the nice mic. We'll review it on the sound gear once we get back into town. I think there's any significance to the candles. The can different candles keep lighting. Is the are the candles like a map? I I still didn't watch it with you. I think the candles are like a map of the church. An angel. An angel. Oh god. A cross. Fuck. Mortis. Oh my god, that got me. What the hell was that? <clears throat> I think the candles show my location and the location of the ghost. Because I'm here, right, so she's in the room above me. Now she's following me, so if I go in this room, she'll be there, I bet. Or maybe we keep passing over each other. Yeah, so she's maybe in here. Oh, More this. <coughs> A wreck, really. Right film. Trying to catch this ghost. 
Isn't Wreck a zombie film? Or am I getting mixed up? No, she just kills me in that room, but in the other room, I managed to uh, fight against her. Is it if I go back on myself? No, can't be right. No, is it like, like a Spanish film? It's set in like a single tower block. Or is that Wreck 2? I don't know what this, this is about. So it's been whenever uh, uh, oh yeah, I can't remember that. So whenever I go in here, she just comes for me. Okay, she's here somewhere. Because there's only one candle. But I don't know where she is. Is she here? I'm confused. Oh, is that a super-powered cross? Can I take that, please? Oh, oh damn. This ain't good, is it? Um, well, the, the, the note from the previous people who explored it described the ghost as a she. So she's in the chapel above, so it's not a great place to. Yeah, she, I, I'm sure. Yeah, she's here. She's here. Oh, she's oh. I think uh, <clears throat> I think the Project Zero games are really quite scary. And also known as Fatal Frame. Do you know the ones I mean, where you have to um, you use a, uh, a camera to take pictures of ghosts? Because you've got to get let the ghost get right up in your face to do damage against them. Um, I will be playing Dread Out, which is like a um, Indonesian spiritual sequel to that where you have a camera phone to take pictures of ghosts. Oh, it's a great room to battle in, is it? Just said curtain. I also not really traditionally thought of as a horror game, but I actually think Condemned is a really frightening game. Yeah, I, I've played um, um, Siren Blood Curse. I don't think that's the same as Forbidden Siren. I think Siren Blood Curse might have been the, the remake of that. It, she definitely said curtain. Can exercise the screen. Shouldn't have come here. 
tapes missing. Lars stuck behind basement door. Enemy hasn't come back yet, can't leave anyway. Aha. Darkness surrounds the this is my final memoir, hastily scribbled on a page of the good book. I now descend the staircase knowing full well that she waits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as we know it on the surface. Even now the hands don't move past 2am. God's work be done. I have been to where only the faintest light shine and protect from things unspeakable. <clears throat> God help me, Father Clark, a foolish old man going mad in this dark prison, ears bleeding from the screams of the demon. Yeah, I didn't find Blood Curse really all that scary. I'm finding this scary. Right, this could be important. <coughs> you guys are going to remember this, yeah? I'll have to come back to check that. There's no way I can hold all those symbols in my head. Oh shit. I, I, surely I can't just do them in order. So it's like an eye. Oh no, here we go. Excuse me? if I walk away. I don't know the solution to the puzzle here unless I have to do the five-pointed star again. Oh god, it's the spider! Ah. If I do the five-pointed star upside down, I've got to start with the one that looks like... Uh, I don't know, it's like two branches and then the spiral branches spiral scar box gate branches spiral star box gate branches okay oh something on the eye so maybe I've got to look and see the eye isn't on there though is it damn this is confusing so surely I can't be expected to remember where all the symbols are as well so what did I say the branch and then the 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 spiral Oh, damn it. More Morgis. I'm not sure how to solve this puzzle, you know, guys. Um, I thought it might be the five pointed star. Because I think they're all gonna. Maybe they won't, I don't know. Oh, I can walk on that one. Walk on this one, fine, fine, fine. There's, I couldn't even make that in time. It's interesting that I can walk on the bottom three and uh, the horrible thing doesn't appear. Yeah, I was saying before, uh, Condemned, I think, is a, is a 
really scary game, even though a lot of people don't really think of it as a horror game, they think of it as a first person shooter. Certainly the scariest first person shooter I've played. So what connects these symbols? So the bottom one is like a scar. And the game. Oh, what was the one in the middle again? Sorry. The X. I gotta walk a path. Yeah. I've gotta walk a path for them in order. <laughs> you threw me off there. You gotta stand on the X. Yeah, where's the music? <laughs> and then this so I'm starting from the the scar and going all the way around. So it's uh, spiral plus box directions branches. Spiral plus box directions branches. Yeah, boy. Oh, I wish I hadn't done that. Mother of Demons. and latest wave of ritualistic killings. Three bodies, the bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside Stirling last night. <clears throat> what authorities are calling the ritualistic murder? Sandra Atwood, Angel Nogales, and Troy Inglis. Who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed in the paganistic ritual. Pandemonium or Two of the victims' bodies were burned. Well, authorities wouldn't specify here. Um, the bodies were found several miles from the Gallup Cemetery, where residents were reported to have been desecrated. They also found trails of blood leading off into the woods. <coughs> Investigations would not comment on whether or not these two incidents could be related. The nature of the plans on a ritualistic pattern, as well as the writing of certain symbols in blood, matches the style several murders of Six killings were connected to last week's to last week's Bruno Slane being Martin, a 17 year old, by John Ward, that's us. Ward had been personally to a priest to gain him his trust before Lori came into the woods and killing her. <coughs> the investigators are asking residents to report any suspicious activity to the police authorities are urging the people of Sterling not to mourn the loss of that wood and how this and we bless because nothing. This ain't the Moonlight Scenario anymore, guys. This has changed. Not to mourn the loss of that wood, no Halles and Inglés, because after all, they were degenerate devil worshipping thugs who hooked on crack cocaine and hated their parents. Why even conduct an investigation at all? That's what you would like them to think, wouldn't you, John? They were just three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved. You actually did the community a favour when you found them getting high in that tomb. didn't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill what cannot be killed. Thou shalt not rise up against... Uh, uh, rise up what thou canst not put down again. 
Thou couldst not kill Amy and thou shalt not destroy my works, for they are the works of the eternal dragon. Even now she is at thy door, her hand is at thy throat. Yet you see her not, I will have thy soul for thy own. Oh my god, this is scary! Oh, 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 oh. Should I continue reading this? Oh, Ah, uh, guys, I really don't like this. I'm gonna keep going that way. Oh no! Oh god. Wait, oh. It's very, I'm sorry, John, isn't it? Candy tunnel. Yeah. Creepy, huh? <laughs> circle. It's pointing it like the circle. Hey now, you're an all star. Get your game on. Go play. Satin lives, guys. Satin lives. Oh, this audio tone is not one that I like. This is making my eyes water. Read. What is there to read? What are these things? I thought they were beds. Well, maybe they're not. Maybe they're just like pillars. Oh, don't. When. Oh, no. When you. Move. When you see it, don't move. When you see it, don't move. Right, I'm not moving. I'm not moving, even though I really want to. Oh, God! It's gone. Do you reckon I can move now? Got to go in here. <laughs> and I tell you, the developer of this Erdorf really knows how to frighten me. This is as far as I'll go to hide my stash. Nobody goes past the first pipe. Nobody except those strange people with their bodies painted red and their eyes like animals. Twice a month they come and pass right through into the deeper tunnels. Sometimes I can hear them yelling or chanting. Sometimes I hear something like an old woman laughing. Sometimes I hear things that aren't even human. Whatever they are, they sound really, really big.
I will not let I bless you, child! That was just Davina de Campo, you can hear her across half the country. How has this helped me at all? I've got a weird feeling in my throat. Feels like my tongue is a bit swollen. I suppose I never went in that room on the left, did I? Should I go there? Oh wait. I'm confused about how I got in here. Oh, does it just loop around? Yeah, I guess it does. Wait, it's it's confusing me. How do I get out? House is to be honest. What is it near? Leeds. <laughs> that kind of took me back. I was like, oh yeah, I've already read it. Eh? I really want to finish this game now. I know I've budgeted three hours for the horror and I've only got like an hour left and I've just played one thing because I overran on Jackbox, but. a really good game to finish. Okay. And it was already in there before. Oh. Can't this one you mean? I already went through there to get to the to the pipe. I like an exercise that skeleton. Two more dead discovered outside Candy Tunnel. Are those the? Um yeah, are those the, I was thinking of these are the couple fixing the car. Two more bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch. I'm just Nate Meadow outside Sterling. The tourist can be took home in the area. Known, uh, sorry, in the area to be a home to addictive addicts, gangs, runaways, and, and the, the indigent. Can't even speak. It has been the site of several grisly discoveries over the past three months. Since May, five bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch leading to the tunnels. The authorities are being pressured by concerned citizens. To search the tunnels amid fears of a possible connection to Joe Bowen, a.k.a. the Candy Store Killer, who claimed eight victims in Connecticut and Rhode Island over the past year. <coughs> Sorry, my coughing is really loud. Oh, I can exercise this one too. Multiple officers will be one dead in a sewer tunnel shootout. Law enforcement officials are reporting multiple officers, including one deputy, fatally wounded. After an exchange of gunfire in the sewer tunnels near Snake Meadow Hill Road, also known as the Candy Tunnel. Witnesses say they heard the shots approximately 10 minutes after police were raided the tunnel where suspected murder Joe Bowman, aka the Candy Store Killer, <laughs> was alleged to be hiding. At this time, it is not known how many officers have been wounded, although it has been confirmed that one officer has been killed. 
Officials are not saying if Balmer was wounded in the exchange and efforts are being made to recover casualties from the tunnels. Oh. I'm about to yawn at 13 hours in. I I'm trying to get back to the couple, but, you know, I it just keeps looping me around the same two rooms. That's my uh, issue. So I must have to go back and do something somewhere else. Do you reckon I've got to go back in the pipe? It's the only thing I can think of to do, to be honest, because <clears throat> I kind of feel like I've done everything else that I can do in here. Unless I go to this pillar that the horrible thing came out of, but... Oh, I, do you know what? I bet, like, uh... Oh. On what screen? On the wall? You don't mean the triangle, do you? This? No, I don't think so. I, I actually suspect maybe there was a path up way out of the... I wonder if the, there's a path up from the pipe. Oh, I went right. I went right at the pipe. I wish I hadn't gone right at the pipe. When I was a boy, my old nana used to tell me about legends about the dragons, trolls, demons that lived in the mountains of Norway. In those old tales, the people were never strong enough to kill the monster, so instead they would sacrifice one of their own to appease it and keep it satisfied. <clears throat> it was like a deal with the devil. <coughs> one sacrifice per year so the beast would not come down from the mountain and slaughter the entire village. There was no candy store killer. What we're dealing with is not even human. When I got separated from the other officers, I saw the damn thing dragging what was left of Jenkins down into its lair. That's when I understood. The bums and the tweakers, the ones with grid, and the child prostitute runaways, they'll eventually come back to the tunnels. They always do. It can have them for all I care. Nobody wants them around, except maybe that thing. And I tell you what, I hope to God it never gets tired of them. I can't go any further than this. So you reckon I can go through here now? Do you reckon I could leave now? I have a dead pixel on my laptop screen and I know it's there and I just looked in that direction and I saw it and it, it made me just a little bit startled. Yeah, because I came all the way down here before and found a note, but I wondered if I could maybe go, like, up from here. No, I can't. I have to leave then, I guess. Probably finding that note that triggers it, right? That triggers me being able to get out. Yes, your ship sails in the morning. Thank you for uh, for joining us this evening. Right, I'm hoping I can leave now. Damn, I can't leave. I actually can't leave. Why can't I leave?
I must have to find a way of getting into that lair. So determined. Oh, my vision's going in and out. Well, we think I've got to find a way through to that lair, right? I mean, I don't want to, but. This screen seemed important. Oh, guys, I'm really not sure. I always start on myself by walking into that. It's called Faith Chapter 2. I guess unless there's a way of bringing the demon forward and then trying to attack it. I feel like I'm doing the same things over and over though. I haven't really got any other kind of ideas. I've got all these notes. It's a good time to switch game, but I feel like uh, I feel like I must be close to an ending. This is trippy, I tell you. I've been in this pipe quite a few times now. And, uh, yeah. I wonder if there's something about here. So there's a weird kind of like do you see there's a little sort of gap that I can just view myself in and it, maybe there's those it's like pointing like these are crosses pointing at this area I'm gonna go check out that wall it's the only thing I can think of Were you here when the actual monster was here, behind that pillar, and it started moving? Wait, it was through here, wasn't it? Oh, there was a there was a thing before. And I thought there was something to do with that wall. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Damn, I don't know why I can't 
can't leave. I feel really bad for doing it, but I might have to just sort of like get a little hint from somewhere. Because I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave it on stream just like this. I feel like we need some resolution to our uh, to our tail. This, like, you think like there's got to be something there, right? to to do If I just try and find how to get out. I can't find a lot. So I'll maybe go another 10 minutes and then uh, see about switching games maybe. So maybe I do have to go up from the pipe somewhere, but I can't figure out where. I'm going to try heading north on all these walls. Can't head north on any of those walls. Oh, damn, that's what I said originally, but uh, I couldn't get it to work. Cool, thank you. I should have just tried hugging the wall. Oh, there where the arrows are. Ah. <coughs> Welcome back. This is a scary game. Oh, I'm so glad we found that. When I say glad, that's an overstatement because I really don't like this tunnel. I have exited into some more tunnels. Not a big fan of what's going on here. Not a big fan of what's going on here.
Oh, where you been? symbols might be important. <coughs> I think I should try and do some exorcisms down here first. Is that a, 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 a tap or... Oh god! Mm. Shit! It's, it's like a hand. Ooh, I don't like this one. Oh, if you're please. What was that? That a chocolate. I think those were um, children. It was saying something about children. It seems like there might be a path down here. Oh, there isn't a path down here. But at least I've got the flashlight to go north now. Oh! really dropped earlier on. I'm gonna keep looking behind me. Iliad. I couldn't read that. Jeez, where am I now? It's locked. This is like a satanic temple. I can only explore with like a sodding flashlight. So they hate the light. Well, I hate them, so. these things would go away. Oh, the... God damn, this is way scarier than the first one. I saw some playthrough of the first one, and this, looks, this is miles scarier, man. 
What? There was something there before. I swear every time I turn this bloody flashlight there's different things running about in the darkness. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I got a key though, didn't I? And there was a locked door back the other way. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. And this is the room of the cultist ghost. As much as I'm scared, I'm having a great time here. Oh, that was horrible. Oh no! I was supposed to protect him. Get out, you horrible things. Sorry for language, but goddamn, I really don't like this demon. Can you see it? I was really hoping it wouldn't be like a custom jump scare when I died against him. I was kind of sweating, I was like, I really don't want to die here. And you get 
gets the atmosphere. No, oh, damn it! It gets the atmosphere perfect to say it's a game where you're supposed to be like conducting exorcisms because you genuinely feel very powerless against the spawn of these things. I guess this is my best start. Oh, I've got to be facing her with the crucifix. More it is. Light just went out, guys. You know, it does that after a certain time. I think she'll just come at me. She doesn't use the gate because it's only she's a ghost, so she just goes through the wall. I can't go through again, but I think if I hang in the corner, she's just going to get me from. She's just going to get me from, like, the top of the. I'm more comfortable in the middle, to be honest. What lights? away from her, I'm alright. Oh. Ah, got it, got it. Oh, they were, yeah. I don't, I couldn't see. Oh, she's not done. Get away, get away. 
Fucking hell. Excuse me. I'm gonna exercise this demon for sure. She's just gonna. Mortis. Huh? I'm gonna do this. Took my eyes off the screen and walked into her. It's like the faces of evil all over again. Crap, it's that wave thing that... You can do the pentagram. Mortis. There's no way I can exit this room. I know I'm doing damage because she's, she's glowing red. It's just bloody difficult to exercise a demon even before. Oh, 
This is so annoying. More of this. She's gonna do the wave first. She do the shake and vac and put the freshness back. the other attack. So you can tell I'm kind of getting tired now. work out what attack she's gonna do though that's the thing she, she like spawns and I have like a second to respond as to whether I'm gonna face her or run away god damn it I'm kind of losing my taste for this. especially because I had nowhere to go there She'll chase me until I get to the wall. This is the one where she runs away. Yeah. This is the pipe ground. Yes! Oh, this is the bedroom which I started in, is it? John, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I will always love you back. Karen. <laughs> Was it all the dream? Was it, should I check the picture? Oh, I can't look at it. <laughs> I'm not going in there. John, it is not too late. Your soul can still be saved. All is not lost. Please wait for my next letter for now. I have many questions that need answering. In the meantime, be careful. They are watching you. Father Garcia. I survived a nightmare. <coughs> I think we finished it, guys. I don't know what is real anymore. My face is weak, and I feel a dark shadow over me. If I can save the boys, Maybe I will find what I'm looking for. Oh. Somebody's pursuing me.
Ending 2, Road to Redemption, yeah, we finished Faith. I know Faith does have a number of different endings, because the first game did. Um, half of them contain jump scares, so I'm glad I didn't get one that contains jump scares. Um, but that was a wild ride. Um, if you're going to stick with me, and I do hope you do, um, just give me a couple minutes to refresh myself, and I'll come back with another horror game. I think I might be better to play... Um, I, I listed four horror games that I could play, but I think I might be better to play Dreadout next, because this and Dreadout were the two that I definitely wanted to play. So, um, join us soon for some Dreadout, where I'll be taking pictures of ghosts with my camera phone. Alright, catch you in just two minutes.